everyone welcome back to my channel so for this week's video i thought i would try something different i kind of want to try like vlogging over an extended period of time as you can tell from the title we are going to be doing a weekend vlog i have i feel like a good amount of stuff planned to do this weekend i think but yeah, so today is still Friday. It is currently 12.30. I still have the rest of the workday left to go, but I guess that we can technically start on Friday, right? I don't know. Before we get started with the vlog, I do have something really exciting to share with you guys today. So as I get older, I find myself looking to purchase more, I guess, longer lasting and higher quality jewelry, but I'm super picky. And I know that especially with gold jewelry, it can definitely get really expensive. So when Ana Luisa reached out to me, I couldn't have been more excited. If you haven't heard of the brand, Ana Luisa is a Brooklyn based jewelry company their pieces are super cute um they're crafted with the best metals but most importantly they are a sustainable company because they offset 100 of their carbon emissions and i think this is really important because we as individuals need to do our parts where we can in helping the environment but i think that it's really important for big companies to also step up and do their parts as well so all of the pieces that i'm sharing with you guys today are 14 karat gold plated i do have really sensitive ears when i saw that all of their jewelry was made with 14 karat gold that was really exciting because it, it didn't limit me to something that i could or couldn't buy starting off i love their packaging it comes in like this felt bag with a um snap lid the first item that i got are these earrings these are the rocks mini earrings they are listed for 59 dollars i fell in love with these as soon as i saw them i'm a huge fan of like just super simple jewelry that i can wear every single day so i love that these aren't your typical circle hoops i think these are super cute super dainty but still very present I absolutely love these. Um, I do wear earrings every single day and I definitely think these are going to be a great addition to my collection. So the next piece that they sent me was a ring. This is the Atore ring and this ring is listed for $39. So this ring, again, it's super simple. It can be worn facing this way. It can also be worn facing this way, which is honestly pretty cool. I definitely think most rings are a one way facing type of ring. So I like that you can wear this two different ways. Um, I probably keep it with the opening on the outside of my hand. It's nice because this is very easily stackable. So the next item I got is this necklace. This is the Vita necklace. It is listed for $89. I think that this necklace is so cute it caught my eye right away and it's just this nice cute little v with diamonds i definitely think it's a good piece to stack as well i would probably wear it with one or two other necklaces this is definitely i think professional enough if i wanted to wear it to work every single day but it's also simple enough to where it doesn't look like i'm doing too much on a day-to-day -day basis and the last piece they sent me was this jill bracelet it is listed for 59 dollars. so with chinese new year's coming up recently i've been looking for something to replace this with but i've been looking for a bracelet and i didn't want something that was too big and so when i came across this bracelet i instantly fell in love it has these two circles and they're kind of just entangled together super simple super cute and i have a pretty small wrist so I feel like most of the time bracelets are too big for me. I currently have it on the second class. There is this little pendant that just kind of hangs. It just has an A on it. Um, I love the way this looks. But yeah, so those are the pieces that I wanted to share with you guys today. There are so many other cute items on their website that I really liked. So I highly recommend checking out their website. Click the link in the description box below. If you find a piece you love, don't forget they have a 15% off sale going on right now. I have a Friday afternoon video meeting with the team, so I just drew my eyebrows for this 30 minute meeting. Feels like you're looking for something better. 
Hey. Good job, Toby. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? Okay, so we always get like a spicy chicken sandwich each and then a large fry to share. And I always take out my pickles and like eat them on the side. I don't know, is that weird? I feel like it's just better that way for me. But yeah, I love Chick-fil-A so much. I don't think I could ever get sick of Chick-fil-A. But their fries, in my opinion, are the best. McDonald's has better fries. Who are you? Who do you think you are? But their sandwich is so good. The leave. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have any food for you. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Ain't stupid. Okay, so we picked up these truly hard seltzer iced teas. And you know how they have like the regular seltzer flavors and then they also have like the lemonade seltzer flavors? Well, they came out with the like tea seltzers. They have like a peach one, a lemon one, a strawberry one, and a raspberry one. We're gonna try a peach and a lemon right now. It's the same as like the regular seltzers. Ooh, our curtains are wrinkly. It's like low cal, one gram of sugar, and still 5% alcohol. How is it? Delicious? Is it bad? It doesn't taste like an Arnold Palmer. Try it. It tastes more alcoholy than like the lemonades. I don't know, this is interesting. It's kind of sweet, but it's like that fake sugar kind of sweet and it doesn't taste like tea at all. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> we have a whole case of this. Oh my God. I heard these were good, but like I definitely oh. prefer the lemonade ones more. It's too artificial. Yeah, like I can taste like the Splenda. Like it initially tastes pretty good, I guess. I like the smell of it. It's just this weird- Like diet taste. Yeah. I don't like that. So my mom got me the Dyson Airwrap for Christmas. This thing is magic, but this is very expensive. I don't think I would ever buy this for myself. So this is the fit for Saturday. It's just this beige sweater from, I think it's from H&M. I love this sweater. And of course, my Ana Luisa earrings, necklace, bracelet, and ring. So one of my friends is on her way here. And I think the plan, Jesus, Theo. And I think the plan is to go to Target and the Asian grocery store. I think we're gonna go to H Mart. But somehow when her and I are together, we always end up going to Target. I think the goal is to try my best not to buy anything, but it's Target and I love Target. So we'll see how that goes. Do we really need this much sauce? Is there more in the bag? Yeah, there's more in the bag. We did pick up the Homebody book by Joanna Gaines. It's meant to like, I guess, give you inspiration and tips on like how to decorate, but I'm pretty excited for this book. And it looks really good on the table too. I ended up going to Daiso, 85 degrees and seven leaves later after H Mart, I met up with one of my old friends and I feel like we had a really good conversation. We caught up, but yeah. So from Daiso, I got these two like big bowls. They were like $3 each and they're, um, I think ceramic and they're pretty big. So I feel like that's really worth it, right? That's really cheap. And then from 85 degrees, I literally only got one thing. <laughs> I always go there when I'm like 
full so nothing's ever like too it doesn't really catch my eye too much but i got this like chocolate roll it looks pretty good and i don't think it'll be too sweet but yeah it's just this like cream filled chocolate cake roll thing pretty good it's a little dry because there's not as much cream as i think i would like there to be like look it's like literally spackles and then from seven leaves i just got some jasmine milk tea i think seven leaves is my all-time favorite milk tea place Yum. It just tastes very real. Like it doesn't taste chemically. I don't think I can finish all of this tonight because I literally won't be able to go to sleep till like five o'clock in the morning. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. It's already two. We are getting kind of a late start to the day. I didn't wake up till like noon 30ish because I didn't go to bed till like four. I was honestly like kind of scared to go to sleep last night because recently I've been having random episodes of like sleep paralysis in the middle of the night and I don't know it's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it but like you just you're trying to move your body with like every fiber in you but you just can't move. I don't I don't think I realized that like what I was experiencing was sleep paralysis until like I talked about it with one of my friends. Yeah, she was telling me that she sometimes has the same thing too, but like, I don't know, it's just, it's like you literally can't control it, but I don't know. But I think today is just gonna be a chill day. Um, Sundays usually are, they're just usually our grocery shopping days. I kind of want to go to a plant nursery. Um, so I may need to convince Tyler to be down for that. Cause he's not a huge fan of plants. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's just the plan for Sundays. Super chill, nothing too crazy. With like COVID going on and everything, we can't really do anything anyway, so it's okay. I'm pretty sleepy. I don't know, when I don't get like a solid night's sleep, I feel really weird, you know? Like I just feel like I'm not fully awake regardless of like how much coffee I drink. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And this is Sunday's fit. It's just this large tan sweatshirt from Amazon. I've been like super into like these tan shades recently. And I think this sweatshirt, it's super cozy. The material is really soft. And I think it was only like $16. And of course my Annalisa earring, necklace, ring, and bracelet. This pad thai is really pale, but it's honestly one of the best pad thais I've ever had. The Girl Scout cookies are at Kroger. Shock. It's so soon. This is so exciting. We have Thin Mints. They kind of just ran out of all of like the other flavors that we would have gotten. But I don't remember when the last time I had Girl Scout cookies were. I feel like it's honestly been so long. But these are really good frozen. So I'll probably stick one of the boxes in the freezer. Um... But like all day, I've just kind of felt, because I didn't get enough sleep, I've just kind of felt hungover. <laughs> I mean, I didn't drink any alcohol last night, but I don't know, it's weird. Is this just like what happens with age? I'm getting old. But these are delicious. I originally wanted to go to plant nursery, but that closes in six minutes. I've just kind of been sitting here, I guess, like researching what plant to get. I need one that's like very tough. I'm very bad at plants, so can't have it dying on me if one day I forget to water it. But I also need it to be non-toxic to dogs. I don't think they'd eat it, but like just in case they do one day decide to take a little nibble, I don't want them to die, you know? Very important. So since the nursery is closing in six minutes, I think I might just go to Home Depot, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's six o'clock on a Sunday, and I feel like this might honestly 
bleh, honestly be a little too much for Sunday evening. So the selection here is honestly kind of eh, but um, I saw online that there was this thing called asparagus fern and it looked really cute online and I just found it here. And they definitely don't look the same. I don't know, I think these are kind of cute. These look so sad. They're all dry and crusty. So I ended up not getting a plant. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the plants at Lowe's are significantly better and they have a much bigger selection than Home Depot does. All I bought was that stupid weed killer stuff. We have a lot of weeds in the backyard, but I don't know. I didn't want to like buy a plant just for it to like come here and die or like just for me to kill it or whatever. I would have felt so bad if it like died on my watch, you know? So I think that's gonna be it for this week's video. Of course, don't forget to check out Anna Louise's website for their Valentine's Day sale. It is 15% off, but they do have a limited stock on their items. So I would definitely head to their website soon and place your orders. And the 15% off link will be in the description box below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.